JBN, we keep you informed. Man dies in crash days after attending his friend's funeral. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. A resident of Workford District in Kellitz Clarendon succumbed to injuries received in a three-vehicle collision along the Trial Main Road in Sandy Bay, Anover. The deceased, 24-year-old Atlas Security Guard Okin Howe, who also lived at Hopewell in Anover, died on February 14 in the Cornwall Regional Hospital. According to the police, on February 12 at about 7.45 a.m., Howe was a passenger in a grey Nissan Tida motor car traveling along the Trial Main Road when the driver reported he lost control of the motor car and collided with a white Nissan and a grey Honda Civic motor car then overturned. Howe's mother, Vendelin Larmond, said her son was badly injured. Everything in him just mash up. Bone mash up and cut up his intestine, him liver, everything. Him two hips break, the tearful mother said. She said her son, who was an Atlas security guard, initially worked at Alpart in Manchester. Following the closure of Alpart, the youngster was transferred to Hanover and was living there up to the time of his death. The mother further stated that how a past student of Kelly's High School was hardworking and a jovial. I can't even start telling you about Okeen. He's the best ever. He is jovial, he's mannerable, he loves church, he loves his family, especially his mommy. He also loves his friends. The crash happened four days after how attended the funeral service for one of his childhood friends, Tristan Rose, who was electrocuted on the job at the Sanctuary International Airport in Montego Bay, St. James. Both men individually left their Clarendon community to work in western Jamaica. They incidentally were pronounced dead at the same medical facility, the Cornell Regional Hospital in St. James. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.